Hey everyone. Sorry that I sound a bit down, but I feel like I really need to get this off my chest. So... Today... I haven't really told you about this, but... Something happened to my grandmother, and... I'm not really happy about what's going to happen. So, basically, to cut things short, let's just say a few, like, months ago, or a, or a year ago, um, something like that, my grandma went to go and use the restroom during the night, and ended up falling over and breaking her arm. So, she has to go to the hospital for that, but then she came home, and my mom and my aunt-niece tried to help her to get stronger. Then, she was put back in the hospital and had to stay there for New Year's, and basically, as time goes by, we found out that my grandma was a lot sicker than we thought that than we thought that she was like apparently sick enough that she's almost gonna have the same death like my grandpa had to go through that that really devastated dated my mom and me and my brother as well but like it mostly really affected my mom since like my grandmom is her mom so now you know the whole story about what's going on I'm gonna tell you all what the sad news is about my grandmom we found out that she isn't getting better at all. She just isn't. And I found out that my mom told me that she's my mom told me that she's not really getting any better and we're gonna, they're gonna call people to come over to try to make grandma comfortable. And it's, it's like my grandfather's death all over again. He died due to many strokes. And my grandma is now going for the same thing. So, apparently, like... My great-grandpa has to go through this, where, like, it's almost like being in a coma, almost. But I can't remember exactly what it's called, but, like, it's like a coma, like, being in a coma, but, like, not exactly. But, yeah, my grandma is gonna get put through that. I'm... This just really devastated me. I just... Like, I understand that people can't live forever, but finding out someone that is really close to you is not doing well or dying it just really tugs on your heartstrings I, <laughs> I just really need to get this off my chest I, <laughs> I'm trying my best not to cry but it's hard it's really hard I just wish 
wish I could do something. But there's nothing we can do. There was nothing else that we could do to save her. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to be strong for her. But I just can't. As you can probably tell, I'm extremely close to my grandma. <laughs> but this isn't really the first time I, a family member of mine has died. As I already said before, my grandfather died, my great-grandfather died. But I haven't told you about him yet. My pop-pop, my dad's dad, also died when I was a baby. It just... It's just I'm extremely close to my grandma. And just hearing about that news just really devastated me. It devastated my mom, it devastated my brother, it devastated all of us. I, I just wish there was something that we could do to save her, but there really is nothing. We just have to be supportive. I even, my mom even asked me and my brother to kiss her on the forehead and tell her how much we love her. I felt like she was gonna die in front of my own eyes. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I seriously need to let this off my chest. <laughs> It's really been hurting me. It really is. <laughs> but at least she won't be in any pain. She won't have to be in any pain. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I have to go.